NSFW, female SX workers of Reddit, do you ever have female clients? Other than anatomical differences, how are they different from male clients? My mom was a stripper. And at her old club Tuesdays used to be bitch night. In her experience, the lesbians were always the most generous to tip. The most polite to interact with. The most fun to talk to and they always would bring flowers and polite attitudes. She wasn't attracted to any of them, she was married. And many came with their spouses, but she enjoyed butch nights. Edit. Butch night. Jeez. Loving your typo bitch night. However it sort of did throw me off until I read the last two words. Close bracket. But course you is pretty close to I. Well. To be fair. It could be the other way round. Close bracket. Edit. Word. Two years and nope. Not one. Sometimes I'll get couples but never just a solo female client. I should clarify. Two years as an escort. In my six years as a cam girl I might have but it's hard to tell if it's just a guy pretending or not. It's possible. Not sure how much traction this question will get. But I'll throw my actual SX worker experience in here for whoever's interested. I was a cam general for about a year and I only had two female clients. One just wanted me to watch her over Skype while she and her boyfriend had SX. The other had a mommy daughter kink and we basically role played while esting. Honestly nothing too exciting. It was just pretty rare in my area of expertise. Did. OMG this blew up. Sorry I've been so slow to respond. I'm trying to get to everyone. Thanks for your attention. Wish you guys could tip me. And now thanks to being on the front page. My husband now knows my side account. Hi. Husband. I've seen female clients but only during threesomes where their husband boyfriend is present. I find women are a lot more self-conscious. Usually shy to start. They often will compare themselves to me. Which honestly makes me a bit uncomfortable. It becomes obvious that this is something their husbands talk them into. But I've also had crazy hot threesomes where the woman is super into it and really takes charge. Usually women are better at giving oral sx. Since they have the parts themselves and know what they're doing. Even if it's their first time it's almost always better. They are generally much more gentle lovers. They are softer physically than men are. They feel very different to touch. They're also better kissers. Sorry guys. Capital P. But I've never had a female client one on one so I couldn't really give any insight on that. We're totally better kissers. Guys just get in there with the tongue. Usually way too stiff. And don't know when to stop. Not SY. Oddly enough in strip clubs they tend to be the most aggressive. I think because we're both women they think they can go further which isn't right at all. I've also had SX with swingers for money and the women were usually way more behaved because they were grown women and mothers and typically weren't drunk like at the club. I actually love swingers. People make paid sx out to be depressing but it was always older couples who fed me and were really kind. Essentially no. In 3 years of camming I had some men who were pretending to be women. They. Thought they were slick but it's painfully obvious. I'd play along though cause why not. It's their fantasy. Also had guys pretending they were there with their gf. Okay. Sure. And rarely there were some legit couples. Usually older. There are also times where a girl will be hanging in your cam chat room. But it's almost always a fellow cam girl gal pal situation. It's not actually s at all. But sometimes you'll pretend it is because money. Follow up question. Where is some place not sketchy to find a female sx worker, as a woman if that matters? I live in a city so I'm unsure if the strip club is the way to go or use a website. How does this work? In places where it is illegal. Escorts will have Tinder profiles that says something along the lines of looking for a generous man, woman, for a mutually beneficial relationship. I'd think this would be a popular option for couples interested in a threesome. But not wanting to bring in people they know. Cam General GW poster here. Thought I'd give my perspective from a different form of SX work. 
about 25% of my members are women. And honestly until you find out that it's a woman. You couldn't tell the difference behind the username. The one thing I really appreciated how beautiful they make me feel though. Less of a sex object and more of I'm a woman and can appreciate you being a woman if that makes any sense. They'll actively go out of their way to compliment my outfit. Makeup. Hair and it really brightens my day. Bottom line. Oh huge differences. I've had respectful female and male members and crazy female members. Women are just so much softer. Trans SX worker here. I've had a few. They were all trans and just figuring things out. They would hire me. Then be super shy before telling me about their situation and asking for help. I'm a pro dom. Interacted with a few girls over text and cam. Though none yet I roll. From my point of view as a dominant. They're not really any different than the submissive men that come to me. I'm a girl who's always been curious about having sx with a woman. And have thought about hiring a female sx worker. But I felt too awkward and shy too. I assure you that you're not alone in feeling awkward or shy. Make some inquiries and chat to the ladies you're interested in booking. If they make you comfortable during the booking process chances are you will enjoy your time with her. Relevant I guess. And a throwaway for obvious reasons. I'm a unicorn. This is a woman interested in group sx. So I've had more than my fair share of mff threesomes with couples I already know or met online. In my experience women are much more relaxed and into it than their male counterparts. I think men have this expectation that there are now two women that it is their responsibility to please, and then get some combination of stage fright and just overwhelmed. Guys. Just a hint, women can get each other off. Hell. We can get ourselves off without any help from a man at all. You are not the center of a threesome. The girls are interested in you and each other. Novel concept I know. Also. Just a hint. The more people involved the more talking you should expect. Do we want to try this? Would you like to? What if we? Communication is key. Now. If you happen to talk two straight girls into bed with you all bets are off and good f king luck. Not your target redditor but my buddy dated a chick who used to be an escort. I basically asked her the same question. She said she didn't have many female clients but the few she did have were gay and were way more comfortable with it than most of the guys. But she had to work harder. I don't know if she really was telling the truth or just giving me an answer to be polite. While I'm not a woman or a sx worker. My girlfriend and I have visited close to 100 female escorts together. She has seen maybe 6 natural women escorts and one laddie boy alone. Several times. After I finish. IGF and our date will just sort of hang out and laugh and talk more than I have done solo. My GF has also had shopping dates with escorts we've visited that day or the night before. She even became very close friends with one provider in Miami. My GF has had many. Many conversations that included questions like yours. Most of them like female clients better. They are safer, less threatening. They understand each other's bodies better. And they can make a genuine connection on the physical, mental, and emotional levels that really help intimacy thrive. This is the only I'm not a female or a sex worker but. Comment that is legit. I am a professional dominatrix and have a number of female clients. One of things that I found most interesting is the gender difference in visual stimulation. Blindfolds really help women focus on the experience instead of trying to expect what's going to happen next and get caught up in their heads. On the other hand a lot of men have an easier time being focused when they are getting off visually. Of course there are men who like blindfolds as part of sensory deprivation too. But I've had many men specifically request no blindfolds. Definitely a fascinating trend I've noticed comparing genders. Oh. Also all of my female clients have offered to help clean up at the end. I have strict cleaning procedure I follow so I decline the offer. But I found it interesting. During my experiences with other human females I recorded a significantly higher flexibility. P. 0. 0. 1. 
and a more robust lubrication. P. 0. 0 1. Than during my experiences with male clientele. Editorial correction. Miscommunication. The lubrication was significant. Hey ladies. I'm not a sex worker. But I wanted to take a moment to thank you all for the insightful, balanced, and well thought out responses. Never before has an Ask Reddit post without a serious tag been taken so seriously. I actually have no idea whether or not this is true. But still. You'll make for some pleasant perusing. Not a sex worker. Or a woman. But. I would love to hear your entirely uninformed opinion s. It. Comments that on either from sx workers or women. And are presumably being typed with the left hand. That's an absurd generalization. Many men m but with their left hand. Pulls up a chair. I worked as an escort for around 6 months. And dealt with almost exclusively female clients. I'd say I had maybe 10 male clients throughout the 6 months. The male clients were usually more clueless on the female anatomy. But that makes sense. The only other difference is that women often wanted to feel wanted and compassion. While the guys kind of just wanted to fck. Generally. Removed. How did you first connect with your female clients? Was it your plan to have mostly women? Are you usually attracted to women? Did they seem more awkward or shy at first compared to the men? Sorry for the bombardment of questions. But yours is the most relevant answer I've had on this thread so far. A good. No serious tag. This should be just fine. A. I figure that even if I didn't reach my intended audience. At least I might get some entertaining responses. I'll be in my bunk.